An epoch in British political life came to an end when the Queen received the resignation of Sir Winston Churchill, Premier through the most critical period of our history. For the last time, he entertained Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh at number 10 Downing Street. And these are the first pictures in colour taken of the infant prince. Even black and white films would be heartwarming. But how much colour adds to the beauty and realism? As we watch the pictures, we almost seem to be at Balmoral ourselves. To be here as winners of the FA Cup has often been described as the summit of a footballer's ambition. How much greater was the triumph they enjoyed now? It was appropriate that the Queen's Day on the River should begin here where the first Elizabeth was born and where there are so many royal connections. Both the Duke of Edinburgh and the Prince of Wales studied at the Royal Naval College. 1992 is not a year on which I shall look back with undiluted pleasure. <clears throat> In the words of one of my more sympathetic correspondents, it has turned out to be an annus horribilis. At Buckingham Palace, which has become a shrine, the Queen led other members of the royal family to pay their respect at the side of the road, just like thousands of her subjects were doing. This afternoon, the President and his wife Michelle dropped in for tea and a chat at the palace with Her Majesty and Prince Philip, who wondered whether their jet lag meant it was hard to stay awake. You had to go to breakfast. I had this breakfast with the Prime Minister. I had uh, meetings with the Chinese, the Russians. And today the Thames provided the setting for this tribute to the nation's monarch. The Queen has seen many spectacular sights in the 60 years of her reign, but never anything quite such as this on the Thames. I will continue to treasure and draw inspiration from the countless kindnesses shown to me in this country and throughout the Commonwealth. Thank you all.